During a corner, a vehicle will roll or lean because of the flex in the springs and the transfer of weight. When leaning, the spring on the outside wheel compresses while the spring on the inside wheel extends. Anti-roll bars, also known as ARBs or sway bars, connect the inside and outside wheels together, forcing the inside wheel to mimic the movements of the outside wheel. As the two wheels are forced to mimic each other, the car stays flatter in the turn. How does an anti-roll bar work exactly? ARBs are torsion springs, which is a fancy way of saying a bar that has some twist or give in it. A stiffer bar will force the inside and outside wheels to mimic each other more closely, which will lead to less body roll. Likewise, the softer the bar, the less the wheels mimic each other's movements, and we see more body roll. Keep in mind that ARBs only affect mid-corner and corner exit, and have no effect on straight line driving. You can think of ARBs as a way of adding spring stiffness only when turning. They should be your first stop for tuning oversteer and understeer. Here are some rules to keep in mind as you tune them. If you need to reduce understeer, reduce front anti-roll bar stiffness. And if you need to reduce oversteer, reduce rear anti-roll bar stiffness. Remember that when tuning, make sure to adjust the end with the problem. For example, don't try to reduce oversteer, which is a problem with the rear of the car, by increasing understeer or front ARB stiffness.